Well, Jody Arias was back on the stand today. She started the morning talking about her troubled past and previous boyfriends who cheated on her. She finally testified how she met victim Travis Alexander at a conference for the company that they both worked for. There was just a crowd of people everywhere and out of the corner of my eye I saw somebody walking toward me, um, kind of fast paced and um, I noticed it was a guy and I thought, I thought he was going somewhere because he looked like he had a purpose so I stepped out of the way because I thought he needed to walk past me um, but he stopped right in front of me and stuck his hand out and introduced himself. Arias continued to recall how the two became intimate. She claims the day Alexander was killed, he invited her to his Mesa home for a day of sex that turned violent, forcing her to fight for her life. Prosecutors say she killed him in a jealous rage. Well, the intrigue level over the Jody Arias case has skyrocketed since she took the stand yesterday. People are dissecting everything from her appearance, her demeanor, her childhood, wondering what exactly is the defense strategy here. Joining me now is David Cantor, a defense attorney who we should point out is not connected to this case. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, so let's start with the decision for her to testify. That's usually a gamble, especially because it opens her up to cross-examination. Why have her testify? Well, the defense out of the chute said, he attacked me and I defended myself. You can't establish self-defense without her testimony. In this case, the physical evidence, that being the photographs and uh, other things of that nature is too strong. So she'll have to say why she was in fear of her life. And they got to that question right off the bat, did you kill Travis Alexander? Is that standard to go straight for the defense claim? Well, in this case, I think it's smart of the defense. Get it out in the open. Yes, I killed him, but here's why I killed him. Now, they're going to have some problems here because there were uh, 12 photographs taken in a matter of a minute and 46 seconds, which showed this gentleman in the shower. For 10 of the photographs appearing to be unfazed that he's being photographed, the 11th, he's looking right at Jody or whoever took the photographs. Mm -hmm. And then the 12th, he's in the bottom of the tub. So it's going to be a tough case. Well, and today they talked a lot about the establishment of their relationship, how quickly they became intimate. Why is that so important? Um, that's important to show that she's weak, that he was somewhat dominant, and this is how their relationship started. They're also trying to portray him as a person that hid uh, the way he really was from his religious friends and other co-workers, and that if he hid that from his friends, maybe he hit a violent side also. And yesterday they spent a lot of time talking about her childhood. How is that relevant to this case? Well, that humanizes her. It also shows that she's been abused by a male figure, that being her father, and that she's somewhat uh, akin to being manipulated and and is been abused most of her life, even by her boyfriends. Okay, a lot of folks were focusing, obviously, on her appearance. She has kind of a childlike look to her very soft-spoken, um, even the colors that she's wearing, much different from what we first saw initially with her. Um, how does that lend itself to credibility? Well, the jury is looking at her and they need to say, could this person really shoot somebody twice and stab them 27 times? That is so violent. And if it happened, is she the type that's rough, tattooed, look like they'd get into fights a lot? Or does she look like the poor victim who was pushed to the breaking point? And I think the defense is doing a good job of presenting her in this light that she's somewhat weak. Now, she did give some interviews in the jail before she ever had a lawyer, and she appeared the same way. She didn't appear to be a threatening physically imposing angry person. It'll be very interesting as this uh, case continues to uh, present itself. Absolutely. Thank you so much, David. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thanks. See?